Hello everyone, greetings from media. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. Well guys, uh, in today's tutorial we will quickly see how you can create bill of materials uh, for your assembly models, right? So like in the previous tutorial we have seen how to create this assembly, right? And uh, today you will see like you can see here, there is one foundation, two house blocks, one floor slab and one roof slab in our model, right? So this will quickly see how you can do it and the version which I am currently using is FreeCAD 1.1 uh, I can show you here so this is 1.1 this is a version right dev version I will provide a download link also there so there is one small update with this version is which is very helpful that you can snap your vertex or vertices also like vertex and points while you are making joints for your assembly right guys so you quickly see that thing how you can do that right which will be something very helpful so we'll start by uh, this model that we have right uh, if in case you want to go through detail you can definitely refer the previous tutorial but today also we'll see that steps but little bit quickly right so what you can do is uh, let's hide our objects first right we can start to create a new assembly and we can hit this option which says insert components let's start with foundation we want this foundation to be grounded so we click on yes right and now let's insert house block okay uh, now we'll uh, make some joint to this click okay so click on this joint option here which is a fixed joint as our buildings are static so here I'll show you the new advancement which is there which is that you can now hover here and you can see below here you will see there will be vertices option which will, which will be shown so just see that it says vertex 3 you can see guys so I, I'm saying here you will be seeing that presetted option so this is vertex 3 and then we can choose this vertex uh, just yeah vertex 1 uh, we choose the wrong vertex sorry let's do it again so this is the vertex that we want and then we choose this vertex cool right and then we can give the offset of let's say one feet now this is how you have easily constrained your building block with the foundation using uh, vertexes basically earlier in 1.0 this wasn't there this is something which I just find out I found out while using 1.1 this is something very helpful now we'll quickly insert uh, one of the floor slab above this click on this insert component again click on floor slab it is placed here uh, right uh, now just click OK click on this fixed joint option right and now let's quickly choose the vertex again right so you can choose this vertex so you can choose this one also let's say this is the vertex which you're going for right and then you can choose we want to align it with this vertex basically right click on ok so this is placed perfectly well there is slight offset here which is not helping us Uh, okay it was supposed to be inwards so what we do is we double click on this basically uh, let's remove these vertices again let's start defining it better uh, so basically uh, it has to be okay so this is the vertex which we need right and then we want to align it with this vertex guys this is the one cool click on ok and now you see this is perfectly placed right guys so now what we'll do is we'll insert uh, another component also which is a second instance of house block click on, click on it again so it is placed here right we click on ok and now we want to insert it inwards one feet so again click on the fixed 
uh, joint let's choose this vertex and then we will give the offset and let's choose this vertex right and here in the offset give it around one feet perfect so this is how you have placed your second building block also and now let's just quickly insert the final which is the roof slab right which is somewhere here click OK and now what you can do is uh, as you don't have much of the edges here or the vertices uh, let's choose fix joint and let's constrain these vertices first this vertex and this one then what you can do is as you know it is uh, two feet from x and y axis so as you will be designing your house you will be knowing the perfect dimension so this one I know it very well so click on show advanced offsets offset 1 right so x1 we can give as minus 2 feet similarly for the y1 we can give minus 2 feet click on ok click ok here and your roof slab is also perfectly placed right uh, now what you can do is if you in case you want to see the exploded view also I can show you click on this assembly click on this exploded view you can say explode readily uh, right and then move it like this right you, you can click OK this will reset but your exported views are saved in this folder now you can create the bill of material right what you can do is make sure assembly is active so right now this is not active assembly so double click on your assembly object here this is active and now then click on this bill of material option and now it will ask sub assemblies children parts children make sure these are ticked only parts should like we can ignore it right then we have certain pre-filled columns here index name description we can ignore file name also we can ignore and quantity you can add your own custom column also if in case you want right that's up to you now you can click on ok and now you see you have got your perfect bill of material for your objects and here the names that you see are of your original BIM objects basically right guys so this was something I wanted to show you a small update uh, basically in 1.1 version of FreeCAD so this will be like quick a uh, quite quick move for you as uh, we have just covered the assembly workbench for BIM in the previous video and this is something new I just want to show you right guys so that you can quickly jump onto the learnings right and now we will see the simulation also in the next tutorial guys okay I'll show you how you can create simulation uh, in case of BIM simulations could be like we will cover in the next tutorial right how you can use that so this was it right guys uh, I'll attach this sample file with the description of this video also feel free to download that right so I hope you like the video let me know with the comments and suggestions and till then take care goodbye see you next video guys thank you